Welcome back to Crypto Lodge. I always say one of the best ways to secure your crypto is to keep it in a virtual box, in a VM. And people don't really understand what I mean by that. So let's let's take a let's take a walk through that. You just want to type into Google "download virtual box." Or VMware, uh, VMware Player works fine. Got to I just want to plug them because I love VMware. I personally use VMware Player, and I use both uh, for different things, but they're both free. Uh, VirtualBox has no paid version, and it's open source, I believe. VMware player had uh, VMware has a paid version. Go to downloads. <coughs> Excuse me. Click on whatever you know. If you're on Ubuntu, Solaris, OS X, Windows. I'm on Windows, obviously. Let's keep it. It's n no harm. No harm. Let's see. We are going to download Virtual Box. And close things that don't make sense. There we go. Open. Yes. Yes, of course. Hit yes on that. Next. Don't need to worry about any of this. Hit next. Don't worry about any of this. Hit next. 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 And you can actually, okay, always trust. You, you want to hit always trust, automatically clicked. You don't want it unclicked. You want it clicked. Install. And yeah, sure, start. And we can close this. We can close our browser. We don't need it. Now, next thing you need is an ISO file for Windows, Linux, something. Fortunately, I got something right here. Although it may not be the something that we need. We'll give it a try. Anyways, you grab your ISO. You can get your ISO. Don't get it from Pirate Bay or anywhere. Go to the official site. Go to Windows 11 Media Creation Tool or Windows 10 ISO. Windows 11 is fly. Try that first. I love it. Uh, if not, go to win. Go make sure you're at Microsoft.com and download the ISO file. And then you come into here. You go to new. You come into Oracle VM Virtual Box. You come into Virtual Box. Name it whatever you want. My VM. Click what it is, Windows, Linux, whatever. This is going to be nothing. We're going to pretend this is Windows Other. We're going to pretend it's Windows 11. I always like to drag it up a little bit, but don't bring it up too far. Let it do the default for the most steps here. Yep, yep. All that. Then go into settings. This is the most important part. Go into storage. 
where it says empty here you want to click on this little sad blue disk and you want to go to choose a disk file and then you're going to be looking for an ISO the ISO you just downloaded from Microsoft and then you will install Windows 10 Windows 10 if it if it asks you for a serial number just hit skip it still it still installs for Windows 10 and Windows 11 so this is how you get a virtual machine installed on your host machine you can do many variations you can have Ubuntu as your host or you can have Windows as your host for all you know Ubuntu is my host and all of this is inside of a Windows 10 virtual machine you don't know anyway that's what makes BM so great if you like the content thumbs up subscribe check out the other videos around me uh, you can hit subscribe right there it's real close uh, you can share folders here what was the last thing I wanted to say yeah now, now you know now you know how to keep your once you get your VM installed this is what it is once you once you get your VM and be uh, VM installed your Windows 10, your Windows 11, your Ubuntu. Install your browser, install MetaMask, and you're good to go. You're very good to go. And anyone who infiltrates your host PC doesn't even know that you have a VM. And if they do, they can't get in. Hope everyone's doing great in your trades. I really am. Nothing I say in any of my videos is financial advice. Now check out the videos around me. And you can still click right over here to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.